This is Lesson 9 in Module 4. In this lesson, we'll be decomposing angles using pattern blocks. We're going to start with the square pattern block. We already know some things about the square. For example, we know that the angles made by two sides are right angles or 90 degree angles. And we're going to put a dot here in the corner. And then we're going to see how many of these pattern blocks we can put around that point. So we have two, we have three, we have four that fit around that block. Now we know each of these angles is a right angle. And when we put them together, we have a circle. And we know if a circle is 360 degrees. So this shows us that 360 degrees is equal to a 90 degree angle plus a 90 degree angle plus a 90 degree angle plus a 90 degree angle. So each of the angles on the square pattern block is 90 degrees and four of them together form a complete circle. Let's look at another pattern block shape. This is a triangle. This is an equilateral triangle, meaning that every side is the same length. Now, if we take a protractor and measure this angle, we'll see that it's 60 degrees, as would be the other three angles. And if we put these on top of each other, if we line them up, we can see that these are exactly the same size. So we're going to do the same thing that we did with our squares in that we're going to put a dot here and we're going to see how many of these we can put around that common vertex. So we're going to have to rotate until they exactly line up. So we have two. Let's try another one. Now we have three. Four. Five. And finally, six. We fit six of the pattern blocks around that center dot. Now, if we know that these are equilateral triangles and we lined them up and we saw that all the triangles were the same, then that tells us that each of these angles is 60 degrees. And if we put them all together here, we have a circle and we know if a circle is 360 degrees, so we can use the equation 60 plus 60 plus 60 plus 60 plus 60 plus 60 to show that our 360 degrees is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 60 degree angles. Okay, let's go to our problem set. Now, we're going to record what we just did onto our problem set. So, we already did the square pattern block, and we saw that four pattern blocks 
fit around the vertex. So we figured that one interior angle would be, we know the complete circle is 360 degrees. We put in four pieces, therefore each interior angle has to be 90 degrees. Interior means on the inside. So that dot we put, these are the interior angles. So the sum of the angles around the vertex is 90 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 90 degrees. Plus 90 degrees. Then we also did it for the triangle. We saw that 6 fit around the central vertex and each of these was 60 degrees. So we had 360 degrees. This time we're dividing it by 6 and we saw that each of those angles was 60 degrees. So as an equation, 60 degrees plus 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 60 degrees equals 360 degrees. Okay, you stop the video and try it with pattern, the pattern block shown in C. Now for this one, you should have been able to fit three pattern blocks around a central vertex. So our equation here would be 360 divided by 3 is 120. So each of these angles is 120. So our equation would be 120 plus 120 plus 120 degrees is 360. Now for the next shape, there's two angles. There's this angle and then there's this angle. So this tells us we're using the acute angle. So this angle is the one we're going to put as the interior angle. So pause the video and try that one. Okay, you should have been able to sit, put six of the acute angles around a common vertex. So we have 360 degrees divided by six is 60 degrees. And our equation, 6, 60 degrees, equals 360 degrees. Okay, for E, it's the same shape, but this time we're using the obtuse angle as the center angle. Pause the video and try that one. For this one, you should have been able to fit three of the obtuse angles around the common vertex. So we start with 360 degrees divided by three. So we know each angle is 120 degrees. And our equation would be 120 plus 120 plus 120 degrees equals 360 degrees. And finally, for F, again, there's two angles. This is the acute angle. So pause the video and make this shape using the acute angle as the interior angle. For this one, you should have been able to fit 12 around the common vertex. So 360 degrees divided by 12 equals 30 degrees. So this interior angle is 30 degrees, and we would need 12 of them to make the 360. So 330 plus 30 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 equals 360. Before we move on, let's look at uh, some similarities here. Let's look at this acute angle where we put 12 and this acute angle where we could fit six. 
and we see then we're using twice as many of this angle as this one and as would make sense this angle is twice as large as this one we also see some angles that are the same measurement the obtuse angle on the E shape and the angle on the C shape are both 120 degrees. Also, the angle on our triangle, 60 degrees, the same as the acute angle on this shape. So as we move on and you're looking for angles with certain measurements, some of the shapes could be used for either one. Okay, let's move on, and you're going to be referring back to this page on the next ones. Okay, for A, the angle ABC has been fitted with two pattern blocks. One is the square, which we know is 90 degrees, and one is a triangle, which we know is 60 degrees. So we know Altogether, the angle measurement would have to be 150 degrees. 60 degrees plus 90 degrees equals 150. So we know that this angle A, B, C equals 150 degrees. And the addition sentence 60 degrees plus 90 degrees equals 150 degrees. Okay, pause the video and try B. For B, the total angle measurement would be 180 degrees, and we can see that because angle D, E, F is a straight line, which we already know is 180 degrees. In terms of our sentence, the first angle is from our triangle, which we know is 60 degrees. The second angle is 120 degrees. So added together, we have 180 degrees. Okay, pause the video and try C. Again, to measure angle H, I, J, the first angle is 120 degrees. The second angle is 90 degrees. 120 plus 90 degrees would give us an angle measurement of 210 degrees and our equation would be 120 degrees plus 90 degrees equals 210 degrees. Okay, moving on to C to 3. Now for this one you might use different pattern blocks but you're going to see how fit the pattern blocks inside to measure this angle. So pause the video and do A. So the measure of this angle is 60 degrees. One way you could do it is to take this, the thinnest of acute angles, which was F on our prior page, and use two of them, which would give us 30 plus 30 is 60 degrees. You also could have used the uh, acute, the triangle would also be nine, uh, 60 degrees. So this says two or more pattern blocks. So even though the 60 would, would fit in here, we're looking for two or more pattern blocks. Okay, try B, pause the video. This one measures 210 degrees, and we would fit the pattern blocks of 120 degrees plus 90 degrees, which would give us 210 is one way of doing it. Again, you might you could have instead of 90 degrees, you, instead of using the right the uh, square. You could have used this skinny acute angle plus the triangle. So you might have used three blocks here. As long as your sum is 210, that's fine. 
And finally, pause the video and do C. The measure of this angle is 120 degrees. One way of doing that would to have been use the 90 degrees plus the 30 degree angle to get 120. Again, there's more than one way of doing it, but as long as you got a total of 120 and you used two or more pattern blocks, then that answer is fine. That's the end of lesson nine.